So first off, to show you what I'm hearing, this is the bridge pickup. Nice and full sounding. This is the neck pickup. Fair amount louder, but that's because it's a little bit higher output, so I'll make some adjustments on that later. And then here it is in the middle. You hear how it kind of sounds a little quacky, and it's, it's also uh, quieter than the bridge pickup too. So go back to the bridge. That's what leads me to believe that it's out of phase. And I should just be able to kind of swap the hot and the ground lead of the humbucker, and that should fix the problem for me. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully a quick video for you today uh, about this little thing called out of phase pickups. This is my new Trent Model 1 and I did a video about that uh, that you can watch up here. Really, really cool guitar, loving it so far. Except I think we have a little bit of an out of phase pickup problem between the uh, bridge and the neck pickup here. So in the bridge we have a Firebird inspired humbucker and then in the neck we have a uh, P90 pickup. Chatted with Elliot from Trent Guitars and he thinks probably the same thing might be out of phase between these two pickups. We went back and forth with a bunch of different pickup options in the bridge and so I think it's just totally a fair, honest mistake of uh, trying to get this to me as fast as possible after the different back and forth we went through. So I'm just gonna take some time. Um, I'll show you what it sounds like so that you can kind of see if you're experiencing the same problem and then I'll fix it. should just be able to kind of swap the hot and the ground lead of the humbucker and that should fix the problem for me. We'll see how it goes. So now I'm going to take off the strings. Looks like the humbucker lead goes straight to the P90. It looks like our humbucker and our P90 head right to the switch here. It looks like the coils of the humbucker are taped off here with the red and the white. I don't know if you can see that. Red and white there. And so that means I'm basically going to be working with this green from the humbucker and the black from the humbucker and trying to swap those two places. We've got the green wire coming to the switch here. And then we have the black wire going to the terminal here. And so what we're basically gonna do is put the green wire here and the black wire here. And then hopefully that fixes that out of phase sound. So this is some solder wick. What it does is it helps soak up solder. Um, so I'm just going to use that right here. I'm going to heat the lug up and then try to see if I can soak the solder up here. So now I'm going to separate this unshielded cable and the green from each other. And I'm going to take the black and I'm going to put these two together. And these black and this unshielded cable are gonna go to the lug on the outside, the ground. And then the green is gonna go back in here at this first, uh, first switch position. So I like to hook it through the lug, like loop it, um, so there's a nice mechanical connection too um, before applying the solder. And now we'll flip this over. Okay, and then I'm going to just tin this wire real quick. Okay, so hypothetically that should work. Before I put it all back together, I'm just going to drop a string back on it. So there's the bridge. There's the middle, and there's the neck. 
So you can hear some of the bass end from the P90 come, start to come in in the middle now. It doesn't sound honky or quacky. Take a listen. And middle. And neck. Pretty cool. And that's all it took. So now I just gotta put this thing back together and then we'll try it out. So now it definitely sounds better um, now that the phase is fixed in between the uh, bridge and neck position. So yeah, uh, all in all, really excited. Just want to say thanks again to Trent Guitars for this. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm going to keep it next to me for the next week and just play it all the time. Um, cannot wait. Thank you. 